in a spiritual science there is known as knowledge knowledge means a real knowledge which you can feel how to feel knowledge for example if you are making bread if you know how to make it it means you feel the knowledge if you want to know the taste of some fruit then process of eating and experiencing taste is called oneness with the knowledge when we read about taste of any food material fruits grains or vegetable that knowledge is indirect the knowledge which is explained which is written by the word day d a y is called experienced knowledge when try to know what is the temperature minus 10 when try to read about minus 10 temperature but try to feel it sit in that atmosphere where minus 10 temperature exist then you are experiencing knowledge about minus 10 temperature therefore day represents experienced knowledge and night represents ignorance not knowing about the things this is the important point when jesus christ was teaching that there exists only immortal consciousness mortality does not exist and cannot exist because its nature is mortal then many of them were not realizing this truth because in order to realize this truth we have to sit in meditation deeper and deeper and deeper until you realize this truth then how to realize this truth that a death never exist that is the teaching of jesus christ but all disciples were not meditating enough then they were not able to recognize and perceive the truth taught by jesus christ but they were able to see all different activities workshop given by jesus christ dead were raised sick persons were healed many things were done and when disciples are not experiencing the same truth they cannot follow and they cannot live with the real devotion this was the condition at the time of jesus christ then jesus christ explained that demolish temple and i will create in 3 days and he was telling temple means body temple but people were understanding temple means external temple made by stone and bricks when he was telling this teaching in science of immortality then there should be first demonstration that demolish body temple what i have i will create in 3 days 3 days means 3 days does not mean that today tomorrow and day after tomorrow 3 days means three kinds of knowledge gross knowledge which is known as physical universe knowledge of physical body second is astral knowledge third is causal knowledge the knowledge of, knowledge of astral universe astral body knowledge of causal universe causal body knowledge of physical universe physical body this is known as three days destroy this temple 
and I will create in three days. What does it mean? Because Jesus Christ was knowing the complete knowledge about the physical, astral and causal universes. He was experiencing the knowledge, not he was reading and remembering it. He was having oneness with the physical, astral and causal body, with the physical, astral and causal sciences, with all universes. Therefore, he explained, demolish it and I will create in three days. And the body was crucified and he raised it again. He appeared. When he appeared, then disciples believed in the truth taught by Jesus Christ. Then Saint Paul was the first greatest devotee who learned the science. The science which brings realization of three days perception means knowledge of three dimension, physical, astral and causal. Therefore, St. Paul says, I know how to die and I die every day, I die daily. If we are not knowing how to die daily, then whatever knowledge we have, that is called indirect knowledge. What you have read, what you have listened, that you remember it. Therefore, teaching of Jesus Christ is teaching of Kriya Yoga science, in which we learn the same thing, how to withdraw the life force from sense organs, from all body parts, from the heart, lungs and kidney, from all cells and tissues. When you are able to withdraw the life force, then body appears as a dead body. Then we realize astral world, astral universes and causal world, causal universes. Therefore, this science is very important. Without this, we cannot experience the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Therefore, remember, all the persons who are practicing Kriya Yoga meditation sincerely, with deepest devotion, they are real follower of Jesus Christ and they are million in numbers. On this earth, Kriya Yoga followers are million in numbers, but most of them are like incomplete follower, having no real devotion. Therefore, they are not able to experience that truth. Let us, we decide to practice every day sincerely and have no fear of death. When we have no fear of death, then you will experience astral universe. If you are having fear of death, we cannot experience a hidden universe, astral body, astral universe. What is the meaning of fear of death? Because when person starts experiencing which is known as natural departure, which is known as death, then one by one, sense organ stops working. A smell will be non-functional, then we will not feel any taste, then no vision, no touch, we have no interest in this universe, at the last hearing will disappear. This is called process of dying then we have great fear. You see, if in day-to-day -day life we are not able to taste the food, we have fear. When we are not able to raise our arms, we have fear. When we are not able to walk, we have fear. When we are not able to see, we have fear. When you practice Kriya Yoga meditation, then we know the physiology, how to turn off sense organs, how to turn off heart battery, function of the heart and lungs and kidney. In that stage you will experience dead condition, but you will be alive because this is the willing death. 
This is not imposed. You have practiced Kriya Yoga meditation. You entered into consciousness of death. That is Savikalp Samadhi. Then you will know how this body is created. Then you will know signs. Signs of creation of each and every part. Swami Kishwagiri and Lodhi Mahasaya, Jesus Christ, they were master. Therefore, Kishwagiri manifested. He again appeared. Three months after departure, when he was buried in Puri, again he appeared in Bombay, in Regent Hotel, and explained so many things to Paramahansa Yogananda. Because when you learn how to experience death willingly and again learn how to arise, then you learn the signs, signs of reappearance, signs of incarnation, that is signs of resurrection. This is just a science. Jesus Christ was master and we are learning. Therefore, practice it again and again, again and again. When you practice very sincerely, then after deep practice, sometimes you will realize eyes are not working, then we develop fear. Then you are sitting, your body is like a stone, like something very big, painless structure, which you cannot move, then we will develop fear. Sometimes you will realize body has become cold as after death, then you will develop fear. If you stay few hours in that or few days, there will be great fear everywhere all around. Therefore, Jesus Christ explained to their disciples, to all disciples, if you want to follow me, have cruise behind means you have to learn how to die at will and how to arise. Therefore, Kriya Yoga practice is following the path of Jesus Christ in a reality.